let's understand the classification of organic compounds based on the structure the organic compounds are classified like this they are basically divided into two different types one the open chain and the second one the closed chain compounds and these closed chain compounds are again divided into homocyclic and heterocyclic and both of them individually divided into alicyclic and aromatic separately let's understand this one after the other the first one open chain compounds or the acyclic compounds so these compounds contain open chains of carbon atoms in their molecules means the terminal carbon atoms are completely free and they are not linked with each other means the chain is open so that is the reason why we call it as open chain compounds or acyclic compounds they are not in the form of a closed ring if we take an example of propane it is like this ch3 ch2 ch3 isn't it so in this propane all the three carbon atoms are linked with each other and the terminal carbon atoms are completely free completely free means of course they are linked with hydrogen but they are not linked with each other in order to form a closed ring take another example of pentane we'll write like this ch3 ch2 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 ch3 this is pentane and here also the terminal carbon atoms are not linked with each other so we call them as acyclic compounds or open chain compounds it need not to be always a hydrocarbon it can be any compound when we take the case of acetic acid again here this is an example of open chain compounds so the organic compounds are basically divided into open chain the second one the closed chain these compounds contain one or more closed chains or rings of atoms in their molecules means in this case the terminal carbon atoms of the compound they are linked with each other in order to form closed rings so that is the reason why we call them as cyclic compounds or closed chain compounds and these are further divided into two different types one homocyclic compounds the second one heterocyclic compounds so what are these these are the compounds in which the the two terminal carbon atoms are linked with each other in order to form a closed ring so it can be a three membered ring or a four membered ring or five membered ring or even a six membered ring so on so here the carbon atoms are linked in the form of a closed ring and these are divided into two types the first one homocyclic or carbocyclic compounds and what are these homocyclic compounds these are the compounds which contain rings and made up of atoms of only one kind means the entire ring is made up of carbon atoms only here the entire ring is made up of only the atoms of one element so we call it as homocyclic as the entire ring is made up of carbon atoms only we call it as carbocyclic compounds and these are further divided into two different types one is alicyclic and the second one aromatic let's understand this in case of alicyclic compounds these are the carbocyclic compounds which resemble aliphatic compounds in most of their properties means these are the cyclic compounds in which the carbon atoms are linked with each other to form a closed ring like structure for example if i write cyclopropane the three carbon atoms are linked with each other in order to form a ring and all these are remaining hydrogens and even though these are the cyclic compounds they resemble with the aliphatic compounds in most of their properties that is the reason why we call them as alicyclic compounds cyclic compounds resembling aliphatic compounds if we take another example it is cyclobutane where we can write the four carbon atoms linking with each other to form a closed ring like this then cyclohexane the six carbon atoms are linked with each other in order to form a closed ring this is cyclohexane so for understanding purpose let me ask you to write all these compounds in terms of bond line method how you will write we simply write in terms of lines and it automatically means that at this vertex there is ch2 again ch2 here and again ch2 here and cyclobutane we represent in this way and cyclohexane we represent in this particular way in bond line method no need to write the atoms of carbon and hydrogen only we write the atoms other than these two the next one the aromatic compounds so these are also the cyclic compounds that is carbocyclic compounds which contain alternate double and single bonds between the carbon atoms so what will be the best example here it is nothing but 
benzene in which the six carbon atoms are linked with each other by alternate double bonds and single bonds and all the remaining are hydrogens here like this and simply we can write like this not representing the carbon and hydrogen atoms and these carbocyclic aromatic compounds are again divided into two different types one the benzenoid and the second one non benzenoid compounds let us see the benzenoid compounds the name itself indicates that they contain one or more number of the benzene rings when more number of benzene rings are there definitely they are fused together so under the heading of carbocyclic compounds we are discussing aromatic compounds in that aromatic compounds as benzene ring is present in these compounds we call them as benzenoid aromatic compounds the best example being the benzene this is benzene and when you take the case of naphthalene it has two benzene rings fused together and this is naphthalene and in the case of anthracene three benzene rings are fused together in this particular way here is the third ring so these are the cyclic compounds in which the entire ring is made up of only carbon so we call them as carbocyclic and in this one as there are alternate double bonds and single bonds in between the carbon atoms we call them as the aromatic compounds and as definitely they contain at least one benzene ring we can call them as the benzenoid compounds then regarding the non benzenoid aromatic compounds these are the aromatic compounds which do not contain a benzene ring so they are aromatic in nature means with alternate double bond and single bond but they do not have a benzene ring remember one thing here i am not giving the entire characteristic of aromatic compounds here this one we shall discuss separately under the heading of aromatic compounds that is during the discussion of benzene we will go deep into the organic chemistry one after the other so under the for this non benzenoid aromatic compound one good example is azulene and its structure is like this this is azulene so till now we had covered this classification that is classifying organic compounds into open chain and the closed chain in that closed chain we have two different types that is homocyclic and heterocyclic so we had covered this part alicyclic and aromatic under the heading of homocyclic so now we need to discuss this particular part that is heterocyclic compounds let's see what are heterocyclic compounds these are the cyclic compounds in which the rings are made up of one or more atoms of nitrogen oxygen sulfur etc in addition to the carbon atoms in the case of carbocyclic compounds the entire ring is made up of only carbon atom but in this particular case the ring contain carbon atoms the ring contain some additional atoms like nitrogen oxygen sulfur etc in addition to the carbon atoms so that is the reason why we call it as heterocyclic compounds and again these are divided into two different types alicyclic and aromatic same as that of homocyclic compounds and what are these alicyclic compounds again these are the cyclic compounds containing one or more hetero atoms in the ring resembling the aliphatic compounds so what is the meaning of one or more hetero atoms it is nothing but like nitrogen oxygen phosphorus sulfur etc so the ring contains any one of these atoms along with the carbon atoms even though these are the cyclic compounds they resemble with the aliphatic compounds in their properties so we can say like this the aliphatic cyclic compounds containing one or more hetero atoms in their rings they are the alicyclic hetero compounds the examples for this are this is one which we call it as tetrahydrofuran as i mentioned earlier all these are ch2 groups another example this is tetrahydropyrrol and this one tetrahydrothiophene then the second type that is aromatic compounds under the heading of heterocyclic compounds so these are the aromatic cyclic compounds containing one or more hetero atoms in their molecules so these are the cyclic compounds containing atoms of nitrogen oxygen etc other than carbon atoms and they are aromatic in nature so they are called as the aromatic heterocyclic compounds examples this is furan this is pyrrole or we can spell it as pyrrole also it's up to you this is thiophene and this is pyridine So these are the most common examples of aromatic heterocyclic compounds. 